Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's lesson, I will be explaining you about Blend Tool. Blend Tool is a powerful feature that allows you to create a smooth transition between two or more objects. It can blend shapes, colors or both. But before I begin, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the notifications of my channel updates. So let's get started. To use the Blend Tool, we need at least two shapes. Firstly, let's make a square shape. Give it an orange fill and remove the stroke. Let's place the shape somewhere here. Secondly, create a circle. And apply different color. Say, mm, yellow. Now place this circle somewhere out here. Select both the shapes and you will notice that both the shapes are not aligned to each other. In the right hand corner out here, you will find Align Panel. Just click on Vertical Align Center. See how both the shapes are perfectly aligned to each other. In the Tool Palette, you will see Blend Tool just below the Gradient Tool. First click on the square shape and then click on the other shape. You will notice an extra shape is being generated. Just double click on the Blend Tool, Blend Option Panel appears. In specified steps, the value is only 1. Start increasing the value to 4 and you will see that 4 copies of shapes being generated. And if I increase the value to 6, you can now see 6 copies being generated. Also see how the square shape changes into a circle shape. It creates a smooth transition of shapes and colors. Click OK. Let's keep this aside. Let's make a shape, say, Polygon. Okay, let's place this here. I just change the color. Let's make a second shape, say, Square. Apply different color to it, say, Blue. Select both the shapes. Again, you will notice the issue with the alignments. So in the Align panel, just click on the Vertical Align Center. Previously, I used this Blend tool and then click on these two shapes. But this time, I will go to Object menu, you will see Blend option. Click on Make. An extra shape is generated between these two shapes. Go to Object menu once again, Blend and click on Blend option. In the Blend option panel, the value of the specified steps is 1. Let's increase the value to 5. You will see 5 shape is generated and how it creates a smooth transition of shapes and color. Click on OK. OK. Let's remove all of these. Now let's create a star. Remove the fill color and apply stroke of 0.5 point. Let's select Rotation tool and pressing ALT key, just click out here. In the Rotate panel, just enter 360 degree divided by 10 and click on Copy. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. One thing you will need to keep in mind that you should not make a duplicate till here. You need to place one more duplicate on top of the shape. So press Ctrl D once again. Here you go. Now select all the shapes. Go to the Object menu, Blend and click on Make. Again go to Object, Blend and click on Blend Options. Keep on increasing the values and you will see the changes happening. Click OK. Now using Direct Selection tool, I select this anchor point because I want to change the color of the stroke. Go to Window menu and click on Colors. In the Swatch panel, Click on any color. But what happened is that the solid color has been applied. So let's undo this. Why this happened was the stroke palette was not selected. So click on it to make it active. Now click on any color on the swatch panel. See how beautifully stroke color has been applied to that particular anchor point. Let's select the next anchor point and change the color. Wow, interesting, isn't it? 
Now let's keep on selecting the anchor points and change the color. See how I created such a complex blend of shape and colors from a simple star shape. Okay, now let's keep this aside. You can also make a color palette using blend tool. Let's create a square shape. And apply red fill and remove the stroke. Duplicate the shape and place it on the other side of the document. Now change the shape color to yellow. Select both the shapes, go to the object menu, blend and click on make. Again go to object menu, blend and click on the blend options. In the blend options panel window, set the specified step to 5 and click ok. See there is a smooth transition of colors. This can also be termed as color palette. You can also go to object menu and click on expand. Click ok. Right click on the shape and ungroup it. See, all the blocks are separated from each other. Let's undo it and select all the shapes, right click and select group. Let's delete this for now. Create a circle shape like this and place it here. Apply gradient from swatch panel. But the gradient is applied to the stroke instead of fill because the stroke palette has been selected. So I click on none to remove stroke and click on fill palette. Now apply the gradient. Duplicate the shape and place it here. Select both and if there is an alignment issue, so just go to align panel and click on vertical align center to fix it. Let's go to object menu, blend and click on make. Again go to the object menu, blend and click on blend options. Let's change the value to say mm, 250, no, let's say mm, 500 and click OK. You will get to see a smooth blend of colors. This is called spine. It is always in a straight line. I want to change the shape of the spine. Using pen tool, let's make a shape like this. Remove the fill color, select stroke palette and apply stroke. Now select both this blend and the part. Go to object menu, blend and click on replace spine. See how the shape of the spine changes from straight to curve ones. Now what I do is, using direct selection tool, first deselect and select just this circle. And now using selection tool, make it small using shift and all keys. Again using direct selection tool, I first deselect and select this circle. With the help of selection tool, I just rotate the shape and you will see how the gradient color also rotates. Interesting, isn't it? Let's keep this aside. Now I create a small circle and I fill this with red color. Create a duplicate and place it here. Select both and go to the alignment if required. Both the shapes still selected, go to object menu, blend and click on make. I will be going for blend options. I am going to enter the value to 16. Now you get to see the blend like this. Now I am going to create a spiral shape. What I want is to bend this shape to this spiral. Select both, object, blend and click on replace spine. To increase the number of steps, again go to the blend options. Enter the value and click OK. Now using direct selection tool, I select this circle and using the selection tool, I make it small. I want this pattern of the blend to be reverse. So I go to object and click on reverse spine.
let's increase the number of steps. So this is how you replace and reverse the blend. Now let's delete this for now. Make a circle like this. Go to effect menu, distort and transform and click on zigzag. In the panel window, let's enter the value of 12 point in size and 3 in ridges per segment. Select the points to smooth and click OK. Go to object and click expand appearance. Now copy the shape and paste in front. Pressing shift and all keys, scale in the center like this. Select both and go to object. Blend and click on make. Now go to effect, pathfinder and in the options, click exclude. You will see this. Again I go to blending options and increase the step to 10 and click OK. How beautiful it looks. Now right click and select isolate selected group. You will see that you have entered inside layer 1. Now select the shape, go to effect menu, distort and transform and click on transform. In transform panel window, make sure that the preview is on. Let's keep changing the angle and you will notice the blends also rotates in its own position. Click on OK. See how you have created a complicated shape like pattern by just using a simple circle. Now let's select and go to object and click on expand appearance. Let's keep this aside for now. Using pen tool, let's create a letter B in a cursive way. Let's adjust the anchor points too. Now let's create a circle. Remove stroke and apply gradient fill. Duplicate the shapes and blend it. Now I select both, go to object, blend and click on replace spine. Using direct selection tool, I select this circle and using selection tool, I scale down a bit and rotate as well. See how interesting the blend shape looks like. Okay, delete this for now. Let's select text tool and type numeric 3. I just scale this text a bit bigger like this. Right click on the text and select create outlines. Remove fill color and apply stroke to it. I want to keep this path and remove these. So using direct selection tool, select these anchor points like this and press delete on the keyboard. Using selection tool, right click on the path and say ungroup. Again right click and click on release compound path. Now the text has been completely being converted to path. Let's make a circle. Apply gradient and remove the stroke. Duplicate and blend the shapes. Once it's done, select both and apply replace spine. To make this more interesting, I go to effect, distort and transform and click on roughen. In the panel window, just follow the steps. Click OK. Wow, looks nice like a flower texture. OK, keep this aside. Let's do something interesting with the text. First let's create a circle. Using eraser tool, split the shape like this. Type a text say blend. Make it big and duplicate. And let's type tool. Select both the text, bring over the shape 
you will notice that a text is in front of the shape. So right click, arrange and click on send to back. Select this blend text and the top shape. Go to object menu, envelope this star and click on make with top object. Do the same with the other text as well. Select both the text, go to object menu and click expand. Say OK. Let's change the color to say orange. Right click and group the text. Make two duplicates. Change this text color to yellow. Scale down to this size and place it here. Right click, arrange and click on send to back. Select both this text, apply blend effect. Now drag this text over here and reduce the brightness to make the color contrasting. See how amazing this text effects looks like. Let's keep this aside for now. Lastly, I'll be showing you all how to make a flower using blend tool. Create a star with 25 points. Scale up a bit like this. Apply black and white gradient from the swatch panel. Gradient type should be radial. But I want this white color on all the edges of the shape. So I click on this reverse gradient icon to swap the colors. Let's drag this point to increase the black area. Now drag the red color from the swatch panel to this gradient point. Copy this shape and paste in front. Pressing Shift and Alt keys, scale down to the maximum possible. Now select both the shapes and apply blend effect. In the blend options, enter the value say 150, click OK. The color pattern should look like this. Go to effect menu, distort and transform and click on tweak. In the panel window, keep the setting as it is, click OK. See the vector flower is ready using the blend tool. The blend tool is very versatile and can be used for creating gradients, morphing shapes and creating interesting visual effects. Experimenting with different shapes, colors and blend options can lead to some unique and visually appealing designs. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will be back with some interesting videos soon. Till then, bye.